Yo, what's up guys? So, I know I haven't uploaded in a while, I've been gone, uh, traveling for work, no big deal. We'll get this uploaded. So, this here, I'm going to I'm gonna basically combine two different tools in this because they're both short and easy. One is the Harvester, as you can see, um, and it'll actually let you search domain names and company names basically for emails. I mean, there's a bunch of stuff you'll get, a bunch of information you'll get from it, and we'll go through that here in a sec. But, and then the other one we're going to use is uh open source or osrf framework um if you don't have this tool because it doesn't come pre-installed on this image itself um it's in the repository you can apt get it uh or apt update whatever if you have it but anyway let's get started let's get into it so first thing we're going to do guys is you're going to go ahead install it like i said you can apt get it it's in your repository no big deal now what we're going to do is we're going to actually do usufy Okay, dot py, and that's the actual script that it's that it downloads to go ahead and run. And then we're gonna say okay dash in or for name, and then now what name will be used? We'll just use my name, um, or my most my name. Um, I have a lot of different variations of Stuffy24, but basically we'll use that, and then we'll just say okay, and then we'll say p, and then where do we want to search? Right, so we can do Twitter, Facebook uh youtube etc and we can press enter okay this is just a quick example of one and it's going to go through and it's going to actually try and find it all right okay so there you know see it searched it only searched twitter facebook and youtube found my twitter perfect okay awesome now i and that's actually correct because that is not my youtube name so that's actually pretty good but that is my Twitter name so we can see there awesome it found it very quickly so what happens if we aren't searching for something very specific right we want to find um, a broad range We want to find all of them or at least most of them now you can add different things that you want to search right but this is going to do search fy.py and if you don't know um, the dot py is just Python you should know that but just try to explain it to you guys so you have as much um, knowledge as you can okay and then we're gonna say q and then we're gonna say we'll just do stuffy 24 again and you don't necessarily have to put it in quotes i don't believe but uh that's how i've always done it so i just do it that way and we'll just go and do it and now it's going to search everything or everything that's in its framework so you can again you can get more for, from this you can specify you can also you can see it's going to do facebook github instagram blah 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 Right, and it's gonna search them all, and then it's gonna spit it out, and that's pretty much it. This is a quick um, for the, for OSR framework. This is just a quick. Took me, you saw it took ten seconds. We run the script, and we can quickly search for usernames. So, for instance, if uh, let's say you're doing a pen test, and you know one guy, you just were talking to him, chit chatting, whatever, and he said, "Oh, you play Call of Duty too." He's like, hell yeah, you know, whatever. And this is all social engineering techniques, right? So you're talking to the guy, and you say, what's your gamer tag? And he tells you, now you have his general username, what he generally uses. You know what I mean? So Okay, so here we go. So These are all variations of Instagram, and that would be correct. I do have an Instagram. Uh, it did search Twitter, and for some reason didn't... Oh, it did find the Twitter. I apologize. So it did search your basic Twitter, YouTube, whatever. Now, again, you can specify what you want it to search, and you can dive deeper into it. This is just a very general way of getting it to work, okay? So don't take this as this is all this tool can do. It's a very good tool. Um, it's just I'm just showing you guys how to do it, and then you guys, are it's your job to go in there and mess around with it, okay? Um, now, the cool thing here is that it actually shows, like, the variations of it. I don't know whose stuff this is. Um, but this is my Twitter and this is my Instagram. So it did find it and it was accurate. So that's really cool information, right? And that was the nice thing about that is I don't have to go to each site and try and search it. It took two minutes, right? Okay. So now let's go ahead and go log into the harvester. So the harvester, as you guys saw when I pulled it up, pulled up. There you go. So it's a tool. You can see it shows you the options. Okay. So we're going to do the harvester again. There we go. Okay. We're going to do the harvester again, and we're going to say just dash D for domain, right? D for domain. So we're not going to search a big company. Um, main reason because if I searched Microsoft.com, um, 
it's going to have three because I'm going to specify 300 results. The main reason for that is I only want to see 300. Okay, I don't want to see a million. Right? If you did Yahoo.com, for instance, it's going to search Google for all the Yahoo.com emails. Obviously, that's going to be a ton. So we're just going to do 300. So we're going to do we're just going to do um, the example in the book for the actual CEH course, which is CertifiedHacker.com. And the reason we're doing this is because we know that they have permission to do this, okay? Because this isn't actually illegal, but it's not good to do, okay? So we're going to do L for, uh, I think it's for limit, I don't know. Yeah, limit the number of results, yep. So we want to limit to 300 because it's going to search a lot of sites. So we want it to limit how many we're seeing, right? And then we're going to do B for what we're actually going to search, which is your data source. See how it's got all of them? We're just going to do all. We want to search them all, okay? And then we could just do all, but we don't want to do all because we don't want it. It's going to be a huge, huge number of stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to save it to a file. So pack file, and you can see the tack F on there is save the results into an HTML and XML file. And we're going to save it as um, CEH test, okay? And we're just going to save it as CEH test and hit enter. Boom. It's going to run. We're going to let it run for a sec. And what it's searching for here, guys, is it's going to be searching for uh, extra domain names. It's going to be searching for email addresses. It's going to be searching for a ton of stuff. Now, one thing you have to keep in mind is you notice this is searching certifiedhacker.com. Well, if the domain is different than certifiedhacker.com, right? So um, for emails, for instance. So let's say let's say your company's name is, uh, let's just make, or say, Stuffy24 Incorporated, right? Let's say that's my name of the company, but the actual email address we use, the server and domain that we use for our emails is actually just, um, you know, stuffy at yahoo.com, right? It's not going to find that, most likely. Um, main reason, because it's not, it's searching for something specific. And so that's where you want to use like Multigo and different tools to kind of search for the email domain that you're looking for because like yahoo.com they have yahoo.com but their employees probably i don't know this because i've never me i don't mess with yahoo.com it's a um huge site but anyway they probably don't use at yahoo.com for their employees i would assume they don't they might i don't know but so we're gonna let this run it's gonna take a sec which is fine it's not a big deal it's searching all these different servers and it, if we go up here, we can actually see what it's going to search. It's going to search the PGP. It's going to search the Twitter, the Google, uh, Bing, blah, blah, blah. Now, if you didn't um, specify how many results you wanted, right, you're going to be here a while. And you can see this is, we did specify how long this was, and we're still here a while. Now, if we open up another terminal here, I don't think it'll let me open the file yet, but we'll go ahead and try. So we'll do... What did I name it as? Did I name it as something? Didn't I put it in this? Maybe it it won't do it until the end. It probably won't output it till the end, which is fine. We'll wait till the end. But as you guys can see, this this tool with the other tool, there we go. It's done. Uh, that's fine. So now we'll do ls in here and. Still not there, so that's fine. What what did we name it as? We named it certified. Oh no, we named it uh, C E H test. Okay, so now we just got to find it. So uh, find might be locate. All right, so I don't know where it is, but that's fine. We'll find it. Uh, it's probably, I'm going to assume it's in the harvester um, folder, but we'll find, I'll find it, and then uh, I'll pull it up for you guys. Okay, guys, so as you can see, all I did, it looked like because I had uh, an API issue, uh, it didn't actually save the file, which is fine, whatever. You can see here, this is it just using Google. I didn't want to waste the process again for you guys. But as you can see here, they found one email 
Okay, this is just using Google results. It did not use the rest of them because, like I said, that API um, key I needed to download, I didn't do it, and I'm not going to. So you can see here, here's the host names. Okay, here's your DNS server. Here's your mail server. Here's your regular server. And these are with the IPs, as you can see. Um, not really sure. Okay, I don't have a piece of what they need. That's fine. I don't use this tool as much because this is a tool that um, kind of shows same information I can get with other tools. But I do want to show you guys how to use it because it's something that, again, you need to be familiar with and something that you need to understand for CEH and also something that will help you if, for instance, you are using a different tool and it doesn't give you the results you're looking for, you can try this tool. Um, the Harvester is a really good tool. As you guys can see here, it took this one only took with just Google maybe maybe two seconds like it didn't it ran like that like that excuse me and I got an email address to start with and IP addresses to start with and the fact that they have their internal DNS uh, mail server blah blah so got some good information here guys um, again you can write this to a file that's easier to understand I didn't want to waste the time in running it again because it does take a little bit if you're doing all of them to show you the file it's just an HTML file and it's super simple it'll save right here in your home and again it's super simple but that's it guys those are the two things I want to show you for CEH these are again right out of the CEH book and these are gonna be tools that they expect you to know and understand on the uh, actual CEH test so give it a try mess with it use your own information to test unless you have permission from somewhere else okay so that's it guys let me know what you guys think uh, I'm gonna keep going through the book I'm gonna keep uploading all of them because there are a lot of labs and it's great information for anyone starting out and it's also great information for people getting ready to take the test or trying to practice the test so that's it guys we're gonna keep doing this series let me know what you guys think uh, make sure you hit that like subscribe button have a good one